Are you now or have you ever been an American? You ever stumble on a Sam Sulek video, watch him inhale a box of Krispy Kremes and half a gallon of chocolate milk every day and think, he's just like me. You are not alone. For you see, my friends, American is a state of mind and America is obsessed with success. If you live here, you've got one foot already in the grave, but that's the price of democracy. In American cosmopolitan culture, your public image is all that exists to other people, which is why everything on the internet is real and no one lies because that is a federal crime. To achieve the exponentially increasing unattainability of the American dream, a higher social class, you've got to understand the nature of the game and that the only rule that governs life is what you can and can't do, like the man who market manipulated his workplace to bankrupt it and later bought it. That's the kind of can-do attitude that gets you by. Keep in mind the cities are open-air markets for the highest bidder with no sense of shared identity or national pride, and the lack of cultural identity and your potential victims has caused them to live a life of extravagance and poor impulse control. The key to success in a stuck culture is leveraging the most common motives in people whose only value is in an organ farm. The desire to possess beauty and the arousal of seeing oneself as clever, smart, and powerful with minimal effort on their part, and both of these should be used responsibly. But Neil, why are you influencing kids to have loose morals, you might be asking. Well, you'd be hard-pressed knowing full well that this generation watching these videos are already psychopaths. I know the Hermitcraft strat, and it's a pretty good strat. It's a tried and true. The strat's as old as time itself that kids will literally watch anything as long as you keep pumping it out no matter the quality. Eventually, they'll be my audience. The ethically curious ones, at least. But don't get me wrong, I want my fair share of their audience as fast as unethically possible. With that said, any form of success, such as personality maxing, looks maxing, or what have you, all of it starts with your values. If all you want is to gesture max, just plagiarize what other people say. Who's gonna ask you for citations in public? Why would they tell on themselves like that? You have to want it more than anyone else, even more than living as yourself without it. Now, you ever wonder why you walk into an establishment and most things are just out in the open? Because it's there to steal. At least my classmates show me it is. Slap on the dealer plates, park far down the lot, and push your cart out as fast as you can. In my defense, I used to be the biggest drug dealer in my area hitting kitty speed, so I'd say I'm very capable and an absolute reputable source for criminal advice. And since I'm going to business school, I learned about the Enron scandal and word to the wise is to keep your expectations reasonable. Think about it, is life really worth living without sticking to your values? Of course it is. We didn't get to 8 billion max capacity planet by being nice to future generations. We did it by letting all the bad genes spread. Hooray for humanity, which I can say because I'm sitting in a climate controlled room in a first world country. And just like you, I play video games to forget about my life. Just like the techno blade before me. You could mark my words the day I make how to make a house in Minecraft. That's how you'll know it's all over. It'll be the end all be all of my channel. So please subscribe. It's a very difficult life playing Minecraft.